Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, multiplying fractions using real world problems. We'll start by looking at some words that mean multiplication. Sometimes in your word problem, you might see the word product of double, which means times two, triple, which means times three, or times. Sometimes we don't have any words in our problem that clue us off that it's multiplication. So we're gonna need to strategize. We're gonna use the, the best method here where we box our keywords and numbers, eliminate unnecessary information, strategize, and then we're gonna total and restate at the end. So we're gonna actually find the solution and restate it in the problem to make sure we're answering the, what the problem is asking us. For our first problem, we have Joe Sneal is training for a track meet. He runs one in five, six miles each day. How far has he run after a full week? So one in five, six miles each day is important information and so is a full week. There's not any unnecessary information in this problem. So I'm gonna move into my strategize. I know a full week is talking about Sunday through Saturday. So a full seven days. And each day he's running one in five, six miles. This is gonna help me create an estimate. I can see I have seven days and I can see that I have one and five, six for each of those days. So I'm gonna round this to two. So my estimate is two times seven is 14. Now let's go ahead and multiply and see how close I was to my estimate. If I'm not close, then it means my answer is not reasonable and I probably did something wrong. One and five sixth is going to convert to 11 sixth. And remember, anytime I have a whole, I can write it over the denominator of one. Looking across, I don't have any common factors, so I'll just multiply straight across and I get 77 sixths. And if I divided 77 by six, I end up with 12 and five sixths. That's pretty close to my estimate of 14. So I think my answer makes sense. Joe Sneal will have run 12 and five six miles. Our next problem, Alexis is making hair bows. It takes four and four four fifths inches of ribbon for one bow. She still needs to finish three and a half more. How much ribbon will she need? Well, I know that it takes four and four fifths inches for one, and she's needing three and a half more. So this problem didn't give me any clue words either, but I can tell that I'm going to be repeating four and four fifths three and a half more times. So I'm gonna use a number line a little differently this time. Um, I, I know that each bow is four and four fifths, so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw my number line where I am jumping from zero to one bow, two bows, three bows, and three and a half. Because this is really close to five, I know that she's in between three sets of five and four sets of five. So my estimate here is gonna be between 15 and 20. So I get an estimate of 18. Let's go ahead and multiply and see how close I am to that estimate. I know four and four fifths converts to five times four is 20 plus four is 24 fifths. Two times three is six plus one is seven, seven halves. And I can see I have a common factor between 24 and two. So I'll cross cancel and divide 24 by two and get 12, divide two by two and get one. So my answer is 84 fifths. I will need to divide to find that I have 16 and four fifths for my answer. So Alexis will need 16 and 4 fifth inches of ribbon. And that's pretty close to my estimate of 18. So my answer is reasonable. For my next problem, there is nine tenths of a kilogram bag of bird seed left. You use two thirds of what's remaining to fill your bird feeder to the top from empty. How much seed does your bird feeder hold? I know nine tenths of a kilogram is important information. And this time I did use a clue word, the word of. So I have two thirds of it remaining. I'm gonna draw out my nine tenths and then I am going to cut that into two thirds. So if I can look here, I can see that all of these uh, parts are representing the answer and then this is representing the denominator for my answer. So I'm just gonna multiply nine tenths times two thirds. I'm gonna cross cancel here because I see they both share a common factor of three so nine divided by three is three, and three divided by three is one. Cross cancel here, two divided by two is one, and 10 divided by two is five, and I end up with an answer 
of three fifths. If I was to multiply straight across, I have 18 thirtieths, and that's going to reduce to three fifths. So that makes sense. So the bird feeder holds three fifths kilograms of seed. For my last problem, you're ordering a pizza for a party. If each person eats two fifths of a pizza, how much pizza will you need if you invite seven people? This problem has a couple of interesting things. First, we have two fifths of a pizza and we invited seven people, but you'll also be at this party. So we have a drawing of each section of pizza that each person will eat. So that's four, five, six, seven, and you're also attending the party. So you are the eighth person. So we have eight wholes times two fifths. We'll convert our eight to eight over one. And then we'll multiply straight across. So we end up with 16 fifths or three and one fifth, but you can't order three and one fifths pizza. So the answer here, you'll need to order four pizzas because that makes sense. And that's why we restate our problem. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other videos. Until next time.